गुड मॉर्निंग लास्ट टाइम वी सीन दी कंबाइन अप डाउन काउंटर विच कैन बी कंट्रोल अप एंड डाउन काउंटिंग बाय यूजिंग द कंट्रोल अप एंड डाउन ओके सो इफ अप इज वन डाउन इज जीरो इट काउंट्स अप वेन अप इज जीरो डाउन इज वन इट काउंट्स डाउन ओके वेन अनदर वन इज द सिंक्रोनस काउंटर ओके In this synchronous counter, clock is applied parallelly to all the flip flops, and depends on this truth table we are making the connection. Okay. The simple thing is when Q A is one, Q B get toggles. When Q A and Q B one, Q C get toggles. When Q A, Q B, Q C are one, then Q D toggles. It depends on this logic, we made this connection. When Q A is one, it is applied to this, it will toggle. Okay. And both are one. then you are connect jk equal to 1 so like that so you have to make jk equal to 1 so that it can toggle okay so this is the synchronous counter then next now we are going to see here the ring counter so actually this ring counter is uh, you used to count in a binary form in which the output have only one bit high okay so one bit high means if output is 0001 then increase output is 0010 and increase output is 0100 okay so this is the mean meaning of one bit high so initially it is 000 then it will become 001 then increased 010 Then increase zero one zero zero, then one zero zero zero. So it is just like increase only by one bit. Okay, so again it continues from left to right. So this is called as a ring counter. Okay, so here we are applying a clock parallelly to all these flip flops. Here the difference is. in any up down counter we use uh, jk flip flop in a toggle condition but here we are using a d flip flop okay so in ring counter we use a d flip flop okay d data flip flop or delay flip flop so like that here we are using a clock with a positive a trigger okay so here no need to use a negative h trigger clock okay so in up and down counter we are using the clock with the negative h trigger so here it is not necessary that we are using negative h trigger clock here we are using positive h trigger clock okay there is no need okay so then so it is just like a shift counter okay so this q0 is connected to d1 q1 is connected to d2 input q2 is connected to d3 and again it is connected back to the d0 so this is simple connection okay so output of first is used as the d input of the next and clock is parallelly applied it is positive h triggered okay then another one is we are making this arrangement so all this clear input so first three flip flops are having clear input and this is a preset input so what is the use of this clear input if we are apply this with a zero then this goes into clear state clear state means q equal to zero okay so if we apply low input to this preset input so it becomes set set means q becomes equal to 1 so now we are going to connect all these inputs to a one switch okay the press switch it is a low ground okay so we are connecting here ground if you press the switch once and released okay it is active low active low means when we apply a low voltage okay when we apply a low voltage by pressing this switch s yes, okay then this low voltage is applied to this one so it get clear this get clear this get clear and this get 
in a set condition okay initially when we apply a press a switch and then released in this condition the q0 becomes 1 okay then q1 becomes 0 q2 becomes 0 and q3 becomes 0 and this q3 is again connected to d0 input of this flip flop okay so this is the switch then here if you apply a clock if you apply a clock and this clock is we know that it is a positive edge triggered clock so we are going to mark on the positive edge okay so that it will be easy to see the timing diagrams okay so mark on the rising gauge why rising gauge the bubble is not shown here so bubble is not means it is a positive edge trigger okay only this counter uses a positive edge triggered clock another up down counting more 10 or more 16 counter all these are the binary counters these are used negative edge triggered clock but here we are using positive edge triggered clock then initially if we press this switch and then release we get the output condition okay initially this q0 is in high state this q1 q2 and q3 are in low state okay so this when we press the switch and then released then at the time q0 becomes 1 okay and q1 q2 q3 are in zero state at the arrival of first clock what happens if we apply the clock now this one is connected to d1 zero is connected to d2 q this zero is connected to d3 and again q3 is connected to zero so input of this is d0 now so if you apply a clock the zero is shifted here this one is shifted here this zero is shifted here this zero is shifted here and this zero is shifted here so that means if you apply you know the d flip flop okay when d is 1 q becomes 1 if d is 0 q becomes 0 that is a data flip flop or delay flip flop okay so at the arrival of this clock so this q0 q3 is now connected back here so 0 is shifted here this 1 is shifted here the zero is shifted here the zero is shifted here so at the arrival of the second clock okay at the arrival of second clock this one is now shifted here okay this zero is again shifted here so now if you plot okay so this this one is shifted here now so at the arrival of fourth clock this is shifted to this one okay this remains as it is now up to here then q3 is again connected back to the d0 so again it's shifted here okay so it remains as it is remains as it is remains. then again it shifted here okay then it shifted here okay then again it shifted here so like that this one is shifted from this to this to this this and then again back back to one then again then again then here okay so this is a ring counter the one is circulated here from d0 to d3 q0 to q3 and again back q0 so that's why it is round round counter so it is a ring counter so here the condition what is the uh, main difference that is you are using d flip flops positive edge triggered flip flop and we are using this input to set the previous condition okay so if you apply the switch we press the switch these three people have goes into clear condition and this remains in a one condition so this is the nothing but a ring counter
okay so this is all about the up to counter now its truth table becomes now truth table is okay so it has the input clock and output here uh, q3 q2 q1 and q0 if you write this so initial state at the initial state if you press this switch then you will get 0 0 0 1 okay so this is the initial test if you apply the first clock then this one is shifted to q1 at the second it becomes this one at the third again it continues fourth okay and fifth so this continues round and round so that's why it is called as a ring counter if you see here i told that this one at this condition the output is greater than by one bit okay this is greater than by one bit this is greater than by one bit okay so this is a ring counter so now we are going to see the register okay so spelling is R E G R S T R register, not R E S I S T R, R E S I S T R, not register. Okay. So it is a register, and it is a register R E S I S T O R. So it is just like this is component register. So this is not. We are going to consider the register R E G I S T R register. You know that uh, you not you know that the book in that book we are going to store or we are going to write the information about the monthly income or monthly expenditures like that. So that is the register. So something we are going to note down in that it is called as a register. Similarly, here we are going to use the store information in the register okay so in register we are going to use d flip flops here also like the ring counter we are using d flip flops okay so this is a serial arrangement of d flip flops like that so this is suppose this is a four d flip flops are used okay then this arrangement is used to store a 4 bit information okay so 4 bit information the so 0 is stored here 1 like that suppose 1 so here 0 that means 0 1 1 0 is stored in this 4 bit register so such type of registers are used to store a temporary information in the microprocessor okay in the microprocessors such registers are inbuilt okay so intermediate data or intermediate result is stored in the micro suppose this is a microprocessor and it has a several registers so at the time of processing intermediate data is stored in this suppose we are going to add 3 5 and 8 so in that case so first it add 3 plus 5 8 so it is stored here okay then add 8 and 8 and then whatever the result is stored here so intermediate data is stored in these registers or another use of this shift register is shifting a data we saw this in the uh, ring counter this one is shifted from this d flip flop to this one so it is a shifting of data okay so it is used to shift a data to right or to left we know that in a multiplication suppose we are multiplying 45 into 2 like that okay the rate 22 okay then how we are going to multi first multiply okay then 0 1 9 okay then again multiply 2 in that case you have to shift one digit okay then 990 like that in this such like a shift operations we are using the registers okay so in a binary so here in decimal we are going to multiply 
but in a binary 0 1 0 1 suppose you want to multiply here also 1 1 so in that case multiplication is nothing but the shift and add so if it is there 1 0 1 0 1 I write as it and then shift 1 0 1 okay so this is the multiplication just shift and add okay so 1 1 1 1 0 so this is the multiplication okay in binary so in such operation so data is shifted and added so here multiplication means just shift and add okay if you don't get clear this idea then just remain uh, just you have to uh, consider that the multiplication is nothing but shift and add process so in that case such shift registers are these registers are used okay to shift left or to shift right okay then such registers are used to convert serial input serial data into parallel data okay serial data into parallel data we are going to see how that is converted so it is converted serial data into parallel data or parallel data into serial data such type of applications are the registers okay to store information to store intermediate information to shift a data to convert serial to parallel or parallel to serial such type of applications are the registers okay so here there are different types of register depends on the input so this is input output okay so there are different types of registers that are called uh, first type of register is serial in serial out type register serial in serial out type uh, register okay so this is called as s i s o s i s o type register so in this serial in serial type register so these are deep flip flops are connected like this let us see the example okay so this is d0 d1 d2 d3 so q0 q1 q2 q3 in this case just it is connected one of the output to another input so here clock is applied parallelly okay so clock is applied here then data input is applied from here suppose you want to input the data suppose you want to store 1010 okay then how we are going to store this data apply first to 1 then apply clock then 1 is stored here then apply 0 then apply clock then 1 is shifted here the next 0 is stored here then again apply 1 and apply then clock then this one is shifted here the zero is shifted here and this one is shifted into the first then if you apply fourth clock then connect this zero to the dean then at the fourth clock this one is stored here zero is stored here one is stored here zero is stored so it requires four clock pulses to store four bit data okay at the first arrival of clock one is stored then second then third then fourth like that four clocks are required to store okay and this is the serial out okay so this is the serial out output and this is a serial in input okay so four clocks are required to store the data 1010 in this register so it is called as serial in and in a serial out means so here finally we get here one output then apply a clock then next zero is connect uh, shifted here then apply again third clock then one is shifted here then apply again fourth clock then zero is shifted here so this output is serially come out from this one in that case you have to apply zero and then apply the clock so it is shifted from this and after the four clocks this clock gets cleared okay then want to store this data apply one then apply clock then zero apply clock then one apply here then apply the clock then zero apply here then apply clock so finally we get stored one zero one zero and this one is 
come out from this serial out okay then to read all this data again apply the clock and to clear this register so just you apply constantly zero so that zero gets shifted here and this data come out from this side okay this is called a serial in serial out the second one is serial in and parallel out serial in parallel out okay serial in parallel out in this case we are applying same consider the same circuit for this one you are applying the serially data 1010 and then parallelly you are going to observe so whatever the change is just i am pointing from the red side so whatever the change if store the information okay now this serial out we don't consider this one now okay then in this case you have to in the data from this side and just after 4 o'clock this 4 bit data is stored here and you becomes 1010 okay so parallelly we are going to read this one so just we uh, show we are going to show here uh, the block diagram here okay sorry so this is a register okay so this is a register okay so here stored q0 q1 q2 and q3 so we are going to input the data serial in okay and we read out from this side so this is a parallel out q3 q2 q1 and q0 okay so this is serial in and this is parallel out okay so it is called as so we are applying the clock so you have to apply a clock and just apply one bit one bit apply apply clock one bit apply then apply clock so similarly after four clocks this data is stored in the register and parallelly you are going to read it from this output directly so it is a serial in parallel out so another one is third is parallel in parallel in and serial out okay so this is parallel in and serial out piso okay parallel in serial out so parallel in serial out type in this here consider so four d flip flops are i am showing now this in this way okay not drawing separate the d flip flops here so like this we are giving uh, showing like this now okay so here parallel in so you are going to apply the input from this side and these are the input so like inputs are d3 okay so inputs are d3 d2 d1 d0 okay so these are the input and it is parallel out so we are going to observe for a parallel in and serial out okay so here serial out okay you get that so after applying this clock so we are applying clock here so clock is applied parallelly to all the flip flops like this okay so clock is applied and so this is a data in okay data in so whatever the data parallelly simultaneously you have to apply here 1 0 1 0 apply then a clock so total this 1 0 1 0 stored now 1 0 1 0 0 okay after applying single clock okay parallelly we are applying the data to the input all the inputs so here like d3 d2 d1 d0 so this is a d in just you have to set the data 1 0 1 0 and then apply a clock 
okay so after that this data will get stored on 1010 and now we are going to read the data in that case we are going to read from this serial out apply clock you get here apply clock this then is zero is shifted here apply clock one is shifted here apply clock zero is shifted here so like that we are going to apply clock one by one and we get the serial out okay so parallel in serial out and then last one is parallel in parallel out so it is parallel in parallel out okay p i p u parallel in parallel out okay so this parallel in parallel out so these registers are using the d flip plus so very well know that so you are applying the input d3 d1 d0 d3 d2 d1 d0 parallelly you are going to apply so this is a parallel in okay parallel in so this parallel in simultaneously you are going to apply data and you are going to observe the output from the q3 q2 q1 and q0 okay if you apply 1 0 1 if you apply 1 0 1 0 okay if you apply a clock okay simultaneously this 1 0 1 0 is stored here okay so these are the d flip clocks 1 2 3 4 simultaneously these are stored here and clock after applying clock you get this output 1 0 1 0 at this outputs so it is parallel out okay so these are the three types uh, sorry four types of uh, shift registers serial in serial out serial in parallel out okay so serial in parallel out so it is parallel in parallel out okay parallel in serial out okay and here is parallel in parallel out okay so these are the three uh, four different types of register and another one is uh, the simple registers are given in your textbook is here the shift left operation in this shift left operation this simply d in is applied here d flip flops are used clock is applied simultaneously and one by one we are going to apply a data and this is shifted in the uh registers okay if you apply one here the one by one this is shifted from here so this is shifted if d is one d get shifted here at q0 after applying next clock it is shifted here after applying next clock it is shifted here and it is shifted here. so this one is shifted from uh shift left register it is shifted to left from here to here if you apply one it is stored here then one is shifted here then one is shifted here then one is shifted. like that so d d is one shifted here then here then here then here so it is a left shift operation so like that there is a right shift operation okay same thing only connection is changed so here it is directly connected from this side to this side so here it is reverse connection data in is here from right side okay and then it is reversed so it is reversed so in uh, microprocessor application sometimes we need to shift a data to the left or to the right in that condition to shift a data right we use such arrangement and to shift a left operation type we are using this type so but this shift left or shift right operations are done automatically in the option we no need to connect such a uh, connections okay it uh, there is a one ic which is used uh, for uh, all these operation shift left shift right parallel in parallel out serial in all these operations there is one single ic that is used okay so uh, this is a common ic it is not in your syllabus now but just i am going to show you with this operation we can perform all these operation serial in csi so serial in serial out serial in parallel out parallel in serial out parallel in parallel out so all these operations can be performed 
with the single register it is a bidirectional we can shift from uh, left to right or right to left by using this it is not in your study out of syllabus now just i want to show you how it looks okay let us stop here now